Hello YouTube, this is Azza for the win, it's Azza time, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Trier. So, I've done a lot of recording today, this is my third video I've done today, and I, I, I hope you liked my long videos for the other, the previous two episodes, because they were pretty long. I'm not going to have a good time editing. So, so we were in this cave... This is a blood moon, so I might get out of this cave soon. But I thought I might explore to see what's in this cave. And we already found three chests. There's lots of ore that I'm just forgetting to mine. There's mine now since there's like a big open area that I want to explore later. Yeah, I think I can safely say that the blood moon is now over because the, the screen slightly changes colour, so I think we're okay. And yeah, I'm having fun just mining all this all. Oh my god, it's a chest. Yay! Flare gun! Two damage, that does not sound very good. <laughs> I don't think it's actually that good. This is absolute terrible. What a great chest. I am so happy. Three cheers for the amazing flag on. I'm sorry, flag on. But why do you have to do two damage? That's basically nothing. Hey, it's a mother slime. Oh, you got little babies. Yeah. Children, I'm, I'm sorry. I just killed a family, and I was celebrating. I'm so, I'm so sorry. But slimes and humans, we just can't work together, guys. Take a moment to think, slimes, that we will never be together. Okay, maybe this is a bit better because maybe the flares last like forever, but it's not very good for damage. Like, how? Like, I... How do I get stuck? Like, if I can walk in, surely I should be able to walk out. I, I don't get how that works. I'm going underwater. Oh, look. Two underwater chests. Yeah, I'm going to take everything, thanks. And we are still all right. Okay, let's see what we got. Too strong. Oh my god, a godly try. Nothing. That's the best you can get. I certainly got lucky there. But like this wood is so lucky in general. Like I don't even know. Like whatever I need, I actually get. Like I got two spears, two tridents. Like how? And my inventory gets full so quickly because I like to mine everything. I'm sorry, but you just got wrecked, sir. Okay, let's see what is down here. Well, the, well, the first of all, there are some bats, which are annoying. I think bats are the most annoying thing in the world. They're so small, but they, they do quite, quite a lot of damage. Ah, uh, what is that? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mine all this stuff later because I have a full inventory. So I'm gonna head back home. Are you done, Wyatt? Okay, I need to put my magic mirror in my chest. Someone needs a recall potion instead. How silly of me. Okay. So, first of all, let's place some of these statues. And I was about to say. Can we have a merchant and the perfect time for Seymour the merchant to arrive? What? This is... I'm so lucky. Okay. So now, Seymour. Hey, dude. How are you going? Let's sell this for 60 copper. But it's better than nothing. And now we can just sell this superior spear. This spear. 
this strong trident and I want to keep this godly trident. Nice, okay. So, what else can we sell? I don't think we will sell anything yet. So, you hang in there, buddy. But I think I know what we can buy. We can certainly buy a piggy bank because that helps a lot. And I'm also going to build a bug net so we can actually go fishing. So what the piggy bank does is it allows, it's basically like an ender chest in Terraria. You can put anything inside it, put, it, put anything you want inside it. And let's see, I, I could put all my coins there and then if I wanted to buy something, it would like say my, co my coins are on me. Like it's, it's so cool, it's like a savings account type of thing. So let's go platform. I know it's not the same as the mushroom one, but who cares? Okay, I think we need another platform. Perfect, and now we can get all our money from here and put it in our piggy bank. And now, let me show you what I meant, because I didn't explain it that well. Uh, we can shop, and I said, look, We've got our money in the savings, 28 gold. That's amazing. And I'm gonna sell my flare gun because I absolutely hate it. I don't really know why I would need this flare gun. I'm gonna sell for one gold, that's definitely overpriced. Like, I got way more than I expected. But the game thinks the flare gun's good. I think the flare gun's bad, enough said. Okay, let me get my magic mirror that I accidentally got rid of. And now we can sell anvil. We can sell all these cactus things, cactus sword, that we just don't need. Bang and bang. And let's just sell all the junk that we don't even need. Okay, so now I've got all my ores. Let's first smelt all my ores. Platinum. Okay, so let's make a platinum sword. I mean, platinum pickaxe, because I can mine meat dry. Is there another mana crystal? Yeah, I've pretty much sorted everything out now just to make some more sticky bombs. We will find the crimson sooner or later, so I'm gonna have to prepare early. And we actually could make a campfire, because we'll probably do some of our boss battles here, so if I just put it right in the middle, I should be okay. And speaking of boss battles, I do have enough lenses, so I can actually get a suspicious looking eye now, which will spawn the eye truly. So. It's time to find some more crimson uh, altars. I think that's what they're called. Okay, I seem to remember there were some demon altars down here. And I was right. Suspicious looking eye. We can make two of them actually. Summons the eye of Cthulhu. And that's exactly who we're gonna fight. Okay, better get my bow ready and let's go. The Eye of Cthulhu has woken. There he is. Whoa, he, doesn't, he just doesn't do that much damage to me, but okay. Okay, it's definitely better if we just use Eye's Giant Sword. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing much damage, but I'm not really losing that much health. Well, I say that, and I'm on 192, but still, I, I think I'm definitely capable of defeating him. So if I can get close enough to him to do, um, to actually hit him with my sword, then that'll be much better. Oh my god, he's transforming. He's so freaky now. Oh my god, he does more damage. 
very small. No. Get him. Putting this card in the bottle is definitely helping. Yes, I killed him! Oh my god, we got 43 Crimtain. And the Aya Cthulhu has been defeated. But I'm not over yet, because I'm not done. I am as a for the win. And I'm gonna go hardcore mode and swap again. We're losing quite a lot of life here. I swear if I die. Yes, I got him. Did I get anything nice? No, but I did get quite a lot of gold, and then we have 95 Crimtain ore. This is amazing. Okay, so let's get all our gold coins in here. To make. We almost have. We have um, 100, we'll get a platinum coin, which will be absolutely amazing. So let's go and smell all this Crimtain ore and see what we can do. I can make Artery, which is a yo yo. And that's probably what I'm going to make. That's 12. Um, we could probably... Yeah, I'll make a bow and an artery. Because we don't need that sword. But we can definitely use the bow. So now we have a better bow and, and a yo-yo. Which is really cool. If you know what a yo-yo does, is how cool they are. Right them from here. Absolutely awesome. So we didn't really need to use any shurikens, but I'm going to use them now. Show them off. See, it doesn't really do any knockback, but it just like, goes through everything. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's put, every, let's put the Crimtain all back and the Crimtain bars back. And yeah, that was definitely successful. Supposed to, put some, supposed to put some crimson seeds there. And we do have some more lesser healing potions. So I think I'm going to call that a day. I hope you enjoyed um, the fourth video of Terraria. As always, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next video. Goodbye.